Right, question three. Uh, we need knowledge of the of the large data set. So first question is we need to know what we measure um, air pressure in. And it's measured in hectopascals. You don't need to worry too much about it, you just need to remember it. All right, just need to make sure that you write that down. So find the mean daily uh, pressure for these 30 days. So we need to work out the sum of y over n. So that's going to be 214 over 30, which equals 7.13. But remember, it's been coded. So if we just take that's the y bit that we've worked out. So we've just worked out that part. So 7.13 equals x minus 1010. So add that to both sides. And we've got 1,017 just there. Okay, so we've done the mean. Right, so for part C, standard deviation. So for this part, our coding will make no difference. So coding does not, does not affect. It's just because it's, it's plus minus something there. All right, so we haven't got to worry about this. All we've got to do is you just got to substitute these numbers into formula for standard deviation. Um, so that would be 5912 over 30, and take away the mean of y squared. So, that there. And if you work that out, that's going to give you around 12.1. Okay, next bit of the question. Again, it's like... You need knowledge of the data set. You can get away like these two bits. You don't really need to know anything about the data set there. You've got five marks, to be honest. That's quite an easy five marks. The last part, though, is a little trickier, the stuff that we need to know. Well, first of all, we need to decide, is it high or is it low pressure? So, again, you can do this without real knowledge because, well, what figures have we got here? 1,028, 1,029. So we can sort of assume they're from the same weather system. So this was the mean from before. So they're above those. Um, and we're, we're just, we're like on the top end above it, aren't we? So therefore, it's got to be high pressure. Right, what does that mean? That means, if you imagine around the UK, it says that it's going in a clockwise direction. Okay, this is what it tells us up here. So let's, we obviously need to know where these places are. So this place here, Lou Charles, that's up in Scotland. So that's right up north there. Okay, so that's up there somewhere. And then if you imagine Heathrow, we've got Heathrow sort of down in, in London somewhere, okay, just outside London. And then and then we've got Hearn, which is sort of near Bournemouth. Alright, um, don't criticize me too much from the geography here, but roughly in the right place. Right, so the weather system's going around in this direction. And when we talk about wind, we say about where the wind's coming from. So, never eat shreddy wheat. Right, okay. So, if we imagine Heathrow, it's going to be coming from this direction. So, it's actually coming from the northeast. And then Hearn is coming from the east. And it's going to loop up round. And then this one up here, it's the wind is coming from the west. All right, so you've got these three here. So you just need to look at that, think about where they are. So you obviously need to know roughly where those places are, otherwise you're going to be a little bit stuck there. So what have we got? We've got Heathrow. The wind is generally coming from the northeast direction. And Hearn is going to be coming from the east. And the last little location is going to be coming from the west.